Okay, so this is definitely a hidden gem. If you're not using FreePick AI Assistant, or even in fact, their templates, you're definitely missing out. We have everything from GPT, Flux, Sea Dream, and even Nano Banana. But check this out. Did you know about these templates? So we have all templates, but we can even narrow it down to only show me the ones for AI images. The same thing for videos, and we even have templates for music. Now, if I did select use on, let's say for an example, this AI music, one, it automatically opens up and on the left hand side, it went ahead and provided the exact prompt in order to create that. Now at the very top, you can see it's using 11 labs music. So just to show you, let's go ahead and generate this one. Let's go to templates again and simply go to all. Let's say for an example, we wanna create this cool looking stop motion animation down here at the bottom. Go ahead and just simply select it. There's the prompt that gives me. It automatically selects the model, VO 3.1, and it automatically applies that start image. Now we can do the one that we just saw as an example, but if you don't want this one, I'll X this out. I can then drop one in or actually create one. Let's go back to my prompt portal over here and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the animated video game style one. Let's go ahead and open up the gallery view. Much easier to take a look at things. And how about just right away, we're going to get this cool looking Sonic and Mario style one like this. All right, let's go ahead and download this one just to see what this can come up with. All right, so back over here in the free pick, there it is. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Okay, now while we wait on this one, let's go back over here to the assistant. I showed you one in video, which is pretty cool. Let's try one in images. In fact, I want to show you a specific one that that a lot of people have a hard time creating, okay? So let's go ahead and select turn product image into a campaign visual, just like that, okay? It's using Google Nano Banana. There is the full prompt right down there. It's giving me everything I want. All we need to do is simply drop in a new image that we wanna use. Let's bring in this one right here, okay? So that's what I'll do. I'll come in here and I'll drop it into the upload section just like that. Now we wanna make sure that we reference image one. So on the left-hand side, let's tag image one like this. Okay, image one from the original background. And now let's go ahead and generate this one. Now this is only using Google Nano Banana. Let's see what happens if I select Pro. That way we can step the game up a little bit, generate that one. Perfect. We'll come back to that in a second. Okay, now check this one out. This is called Build UGC Prompt. It's this simple. Just enter in the character description, their action, and then any audio line that you want them to say. Then you just simply select the emotion, and then you can even add some background sound. Once you have all this information filled in, just select Run Template. And so then after submitting that, it redirects me back to the assistant, and this is the full prompt that it came up with with. It's pretty detailed and I mean it is pretty impressive. From there we then instantly get a few options that we can select from generate a video from this prompt, create a storyboard for the scene, open style guide, and even search UGC video inspiration. We're going to go with the generate video from prompt. Once I select this, look at the type of video that we got. Hey guys, get the everything bundle and never need prompts again. Now, another favorite of mine is gonna be this one that's entitled Create Video Keyframes. All you have to do is simply just upload one reference image and then just type in a video script. Supercar precision on the beach. Once you're ready, select Run Template, and now look what we get. It takes this one image I uploaded to now I get all of these, but we have a few really good ones. Like for example, removing the blemishes and spots. That's a very good one. And even over here on the left-hand side to create a dynamic sports photo. I recommend that one as well. This is one of my favorites. Now all we have to do is just change the original image. Select this, drop in your image or select from a prior generation. So let's go back over here. Remember, there is that shoe. Check this out. Isolate the product and place it in a following scene 
This did a phenomenal job. Perfect for product placement or e-commerce photos. How about that video one we got, that animation one? And now look at that. Look how good of a job this actually did. Fantastic. So there you have it, templates in free pick. Now, a lot of you may already know what this is, but again, it may just be another hidden gem that maybe you didn't know existed. And it will make your workload a little easier by providing some nice visuals. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit the sub button like a real G. It be me that you see because I'm a prom queen. Subscribe to the mule as they angle at you. Hit that like button, metrics mule is so fire.